Okay, so I know it's crazy that I had to stop in the middle of problem 18, right when we had just figured out what our h is. Notice that that h, it's parallel. h is parallel to the axis of rotation, so I've kind of drawn it parallel. And it's top curve minus bottom curve, and I want my stuff in terms of x. So my top curve is y equals the square root of x. So this distance from here to here, right, the whole thing is a square root of x. And then I want to take away, um, because I would just want h, uh, the, the line x over 2. And so x over 2, uh, removing, that's that, this, that's that distance right there, y equals x over 2. And so I want to remove that out. And uh, you notice that the top curve and the bottom curve are the same all the way from, um, from 0 to 4. And so everywhere there, there, the top curve and the bottom curve are exactly the same. Now I want to come up with what my r is. And r is the distance that goes from h to the axis of rotation. That's r. And um, you might remember that the distance from uh, this distance right here that goes from any point my point here, h, to the y-axis. Do you guys remember that that was called x? And when I was going around the y-axis, then my r was equal to x. But this time I'm not going around the y-axis. And so, uh, but I'll still be able to find what r is uh, in terms of x, right? I know this whole thing is 5. So from the y-axis to the axis of rotation is 5, a distance of 5. And I just want to know that little distance, r, right there. So if the whole thing is 5, and this distance right here is called x, then r must be 5 take away x. And then now I'm ready. I'm in business here. So remember that the volume of a shell is 2 pi rh. And, uh, and so our case, this is 2 pi dx in this case, um, 5 minus x times the square root of x minus x over 2 dx. So I'm going to have to multiply that together using FOIL. It's not going to be that bad. I'll be able to do it. And then where are my h's going? My h's go, this is a typical h, and here's the first h's, right, down here, and they start at 0. And then my last h is at, uh, at 4. Do you guys agree? So from 0 to 4 are my bounds. And now I'm, I'm in business. All I have to do is, is foil that together uh, and then uh, find the antiderivative and plug in the bounds, and then I'll have it. This pencil's really dull. And this pencil can't be seen. I stole it from my son and it, um, you can't see it. I'm going to write the square root as x to the 1 half, and then 5 times this, that's going to be negative 5 halves x, and then this is going to be minus x to the 3 halves, and then that's going to be positive x squared. I'm going to put half. I was going to say x squared over 2, but it's easier to find the antiderivative if I put half, because then I hold still the half. I don't know, maybe it's easier for me and not easier for you, I don't know. Okay, so 2 pi, and so this is, when I add 1, this is going to be um, 5 times, and so this is x, half plus 1 is 3 halves, divide by the same darn thing, 2 thirds, minus the 5 halves would hold still, uh, and then this is going to be x to the half, and you divide by the same darn thing. Maybe I'll write that as, uh, excuse me, not x to the half, x squared over 2. Uh, and then I'm going to add 1 here, so that's 5 halves. So minus x to the 5 halves, when you add 1 to that, and divide by the same darn thing, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so that times 2 fifths, plus half, and then I'm going to write this as x to the third over 3 from 0 to 4. Ah, I'm going to clean it up. And of course, that's the problem. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to put in four. So I'm going to put in four and I'm going to minus zero. And I'm just going to put in four with my calculator and, um, and so I'm not going to write it. Um, I'm feeling kind of tired, feeling kind of lazy. I'm feeling like I've worked too hard already today. So this is uh, four raised to the three halves and minus five over four. I hope you have your calculator out too and are not just uh, letting me do this but are going to check so that if I get it wrong um, you can send me an email telling me um, So I'm here plugging this in away. I got one more to put in. Plus, and then I'm going to have a fraction here. And so this is going to be 4 to the third over 6. So that's 68 over 15 minus 0, and then times 2 pi, so times 2. So the volume here is 136 pi over 15. And if that's not right, you can send me an email and tell me about it. Okay, my friends, um, and so that was the trickiest one that we did. Um, I hope that you practice some. It really helps to practice. Um, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.